Good evening and welcome to Angel Hour. And it's my pleasure this evening to do some meditation work, working with the crystal energies and with the archangel energies. This is for abundance and healing. And after the meditation, I'm going to be doing some psychic clairvoyant messages for viewers and bringing through information uh, from the spirit world and I will be delving into areas that need healing in particular and also uh, asking the angels which crystals would be especially beneficial for you at the moment. So the grid uh, that I have here this evening is an abundance and healing grid. I'm working with this grid with Universal Angel Mother Mary, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel as a combination of combined energies to bring soothing healing through every level of those that connect to the energies and the meditations and to trigger healing and new awareness and to dissolve any areas which are blocking abundance and that is any type of abundance uh, it doesn't have to be material but it can be uh, all abundance is good abundance as long as it's positive energy hmm. so the other thing i wanted to talk about is one of the uses for selenite now this piece here uh, I often use when I do crystal healing workshops to comb through the aura. It can be any size of selenite. It's a very high vibrational crystal and it's very purifying. It works in a similar way to uh, feather smudging, if you've ever seen that done, to cleanse an aura. And it can be used to comb gently through the aura and to release any debris after receiving the healing. It's very calming and it feels cool, very purifying. So it's an excellent cleanser for the auric field. And just go where you feel guided if you use this technique. Could be any layer, <coughs> excuse me, any layer of the aura. It might be closer to the body in the emotional field or it might be further away in the mental levels or higher up in the spiritual levels but it will dissolve blockages and it's very soothing to work with. So that's one recommendation for selenite. Now I've been crystal shopping today and I went to a place called Annalee Crystals in Shoreham and I found a beautiful piece, a very unusual optical calcite. Unusual because it's a beautiful lavender colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Without the lights on it, it's a uh, lilac, lilac. So I'm going to be holding this while I do the meditation. Optical calcite is very cleansing again. Um, I like my cleansing crystals. It helps to dissolve any blockages in the energy field throughout all of the chakras every level so it's a universal cleanser and healer so i'm going to run into the meditation now and invoke the energies but um, before i do that i want to say do ground yourself when you're working with these energies now I've noticed myself, depending on what type of mediumship I want to do, I have to reattune my energy level. When I'm working with the angels, the energy is very high vibration. If I want to give evidential mediumship, I've really got to get grounded into my body. Now for me personally, I love the angel energy and that's where I feel more comfortable, um, more attuned to, but all mediumship, I think I've lost my leg, <laughs> sorry if I cut out then, all mediumship is positive and good. 
So for evidential mediumship, I have to really get down, grounded, and keep saying to myself, get into your body, down, down, down. And that's because um, the dead, dead, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Deceased relatives um, do not have the same light levels as angels and guides, so I'm working on a completely different vibration with them. Anyway, um, right, okay. So if you'd like to follow the meditation, just make sure that you're grounded first and work with any crystals that you might feel drawn to hold while you're bringing these energies with me. And uh, set your intention that you want to attune to these energies and to receive the healing benefits from the crystal energies, the archangels and the higher dimensions of light. And just begin now by breathing in a diamond white light. Breathe it in with your intention to connect to healing and abundance and draw these qualities into your life to a higher degree. And as you breathe in, you find that the energy is flowing down through your crown chakra. Down, down and through your third eye area. And then flowing into your throat. You may be aware of your stellar gateway chakra, higher above your crown chakra, above your causal, and above your soul star, expanding to allow more energy now to come in as you begin to become attuned. If you wish to call in the unicorn energy, the ascended horses, Pegasus, Unicorn, do so now. They will help to hold the vibration around you. And just allow the light to flow down from your throat chakra into your heart. Like a steady stream of universal healing light. It's going further down your body into your solar plexus, dissolving any lower energy, any tension, anything you may have absorbed and no longer need. It's being released in a stream of light. And the energy continues down through your sacral chakra. And flows evenly down through your base chakra. Down your leg. And into the earth below your feet. And down into the chakras below your feet, your earth star, and below that your Gaia chakra, and then all the way down through your further chakras, and into the centre of the earth. Feel your energy flowing down into the heart of the earth, which is full of pure white light. And imagine that there is a pool of healing light in the centre of the earth. You can imagine this like a globe or a sphere of crystalline,
diamond white light. And feel it washing over your feet, over your energy field, releasing you from any stuck pattern, raising your vibration, cleansing you, a healing stream of water is now flowing back up, back up your legs, and into your base chakra which is expanding. You may feel as if it's being stretched, gently opened, to receive more light. And as it does so, you're aware of the angels drawing closer to you and helping to open the chakra and clear it. The guardian angel is also working with you to help you to strengthen the center and to align it to the energies in the center of the earth so that your core energy, your heart align, is completely aligned with divine soul purpose for you. So setting yourself in alignment with the centre of the earth, imagine if you like a line of light from your spine into the centre of the earth. And it's coming up through your sacral chakra, right through the centre of your body in your sacral chakra, expands, you might experience a stretching feeling. You may be aware of angels' hands and fingers unfurling the chakras, unfurling the petals or the vortexes of light inside of each chakra and dissolving everything that you're ready to let go of. Perhaps reminding you more of your divine, pure essence and light. And the light is spreading further as it spreads up into your solar plexus and the line of light connecting you directly to the centre of the earth is growing stronger up through the centre of your body and this realigns each chakra as the energy flows into your heart. And as your heart expands you might be aware of white wings, those can be purple or angel wings. And they are flowing rivers of white cleansing light into your heart tuning it to the highest level of love for yourself and for your life so that you can feel more joy and abundance. They want to open this energy in your heart and they're placing this energy in the form of a pink, white, green and blue diamond the reflections on the diamond of those colours and this is being given to you. It might be large or it might be small. The perfect size for you is being given to you now by the spirit world, by the higher beings and placed into your heart like an energy upgrade. And this of course draws these energies these qualities to you from the universe. It brings to you what you radiate out. So the more light you can hold, the more joy, the more love, the more sense of abundance, belonging and goodwill, the more you draw this to you. As we know, light attracts light. And they're working with you to bring these energies up 
into your throat. And the line of light continue up through your throat. And as it does so, golden energy is coming in with the white light. And this floods through your mind. Gold. Gold of wisdom. And as this happens, the angels working with you are beginning to help you to recall the wisdom that you hold in your soul essence that you have earned in your past life. And other experiences from your soul group within, your oversoul, can now be ignited and downloaded into your cosmic consciousness. Ask for this to happen. Ask for abundance consciousness. Positive thought pattern and a higher awareness to be downloaded now and you might feel this energy coming in from above your head you have access to these energies every part of your soul and your soul group is available energetically to you to tap into so ask for the downloads that are appropriate for you now to come in and you might see symbolically golden switches clicking. You might just feel that loving golden angelic energy. And sit with this for a moment and be aware of the golden light and the white light and the green and the sparkling blue, green and white light all around you. And there's a sense of your soul feeling the freedom of bathing in the light and ask for it to be anchored in this wonderful light. You can ask for specific areas if you especially want healing for certain things or ask for that it goes to where it's most appropriate for you. And you might be aware of angelic hands in your ear, channeling in their hands, their palms touching you, easing, healing energy. This is direct from the angels. Just let them work with you knowing that every time you do this, they reach you more closely and can bring you more healing, more energy, more love, more abundance and help you align to soul purpose, which in itself always brings abundance. When you're on track, your soul will expand life which is fulfilling for you and the more you become in alignment and on track the soul purpose the more beautifully harmoniously your life flows and the more joy it brings you and just allow them to work on you in a few more moments knowing that all they want to do is help you support you and raise your awareness and raise your vibration so that you can connect more easily and more often and receive a deeper understanding of yourself and your connection to spirit. Be aware of that love, that energy. I'm seeing it like a pink pouring into my heart. And I'm aware of my heart chakra spinning. And as it spins, I can see old energy that was stuck just being pulled out. 
just like clouds just being released for a long way down. And then you take it all the way back through your lifetime to any stage, any place, any time, and further back to your time now, to this life, releasing and healing everywhere and everything you touch. And now we're bringing down what looks like a crown of white light, coming down from above you. And it feels soft and yet clear and strong. And it's beautiful, white angelic energy this is a unified angelic energy being brought in by Archangel Gabriel in love. And just allow him to place this crown of light around your crown chakra. You might feel that shift as it comes into your energy field. And also be aware that the energies being brought in here by the angels are crystalline angelic energies. They have blended the streams of angelic energy with the crystalline energy here and are giving birth to you in this gift of light shaped like a crown which is being placed on your head. Just allow that beautiful light to sink into your aura and this will remain in place permanently should you accept it. Okay, so now they're showing me a mirror and the mirror is being placed in front of you, the full length mirror. And their kindly eyes and hands are holding the mirror for you. And they would like everybody to look at your own self in the mind's eye. And be aware of somewhere in particular that you would like to receive healing for. And as you look into the mirror, something comes immediately to mind. Maybe more than one thing. Try and focus on just one topmost thing right now, knowing you can come back again and do the others another time. And the one thing in your mind, Archangel Gabriel is now taking your hand and as he does so, look deeply into his eyes and he then holds your other hand and he is sending pulsating white light. This is pure angelic healing light into that aspect, for that part of you, that area that you have asked specifically for the healing to go to. And the stream of light, so beautifully given, channeled directly from his angels moving up your arms, flowing into your body. Into your emotional field. your mind and into your soul because the angels work directly with your soul energy too. And it's flowing very strongly. Absorb it, relax and allow them to wash this energy right through you. And this is dissolving 
any blocks you may have to your bandha. Anywhere where you resist the flow of your bandha. With being unblocked, go smoothly and I can see many, many angels working in teams with you. Bringing this light in for everybody doing this meditation. So you are working in relays, bringing more and more light through. And when you're absolutely full up with light, you may wish to thank them as they place a golden angelic seal around you so that the energy will stay with you as you may be absorbing them over several days. The angel I'm seeing working with me has just made a heart shape with his hands and inclined his head slightly and this is their way of asking me to say to everybody that they are grateful for the opportunity to touch so many people and bring this healing in. They're really delighted. Okay, so this whole golden cloud around you continues to be absorbed and will continue to soak in to your energy and in your own time when you're ready gently come back into the room okay. now i have said that everybody who shares my life live video is going to be entered into a free draw to win a full length reading with me and that's going to again be the case today. So if you want to share this video into your group or on your page tonight, then tomorrow I will be announcing who the winner is of the free full reading with me. Um, now I am coming onto my phone here to see if I can see who is connecting with me tonight for a reading. Oh, so I can't find myself now on my own phone. So I think what I'm going to do is um, come over and bring that a little bit closer to me. Because I can't see from this distance everybody who's joined me. That retina's too small. So I'm coming over to get the get the laptop. Bring it over to the bridge area. <laughs> well, at least you've had a better look at the grid. <laughs> Right now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's make make room in the grid. Okay. Oh, okay, Karina. Hello, Karina. Nice to see you there. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Uh, hi, Sally. Hi, Sally. Hi Chantelle, Chantelle, right okay so um, first of all I'm going to go to Chantelle Ash, mm, Ashmirid Heya, <clears throat> right so as I connect to your energy field Chantelle I can feel a lot of um, power, like it's a strong energy field, um, very much with the mediumship abilities there. 
also I feel that some of the energy is churning up um, and it's not yet flowing as smoothly so your channel um, needs to be uh, directed more and then your flow will open up more but there is a lot of power with you for mediumship and I feel the mediumship is also a physical mediumship which is quite unusual uh, and it's a good unusual uh, in this day and age um, that definitely is something you could expand on physical mediumship um, evidential mediumship um, I know that um, you're an absolute powerhouse so you really um, will will be the type of person who will have your own development circle and you will be the medium that will definitely be coming for you in the next few years right now if somebody's just said in my ear the word frailty i don't feel that's you i feel there's somebody close to you in your life that surrounds you that has a frailty that's quite a frail person um, and i feel that this is somebody female and i feel this is somebody that you look out for um, i feel you're a very caring person there's a lot of love um, a lot of concern and you're also very insightful so you're not the kind of person who anybody's going to take for a ride or take for a fool which is great um, you're alert right this is not referring to the person that i felt had the frailty this is somebody that there's a good loving connection that kind of needs you um yeah you're, you're very much a powerhouse there's a lot of development for you to come still in your mediumship and i'm also seeing uh, the old-fashioned rider weight tarot cards so i don't know if you're using those but i know certainly if you use the tarot you would be very good at using the tarot um yeah okay so uh my guide is taking me to you on a guide level so i am being shown a man around you uh, on a guide level you may or may not be aware of him but what he's yet um, but he is telling me that he's the one that's going to help you with your trance mediumship your evidential mediumship and your physical mediumship um, I can describe him he's got a bald head quite a rounded bald head um, <laughs> he's just said to me mind how you describe me he's wearing a white wing collar so um, it, his clothes look Victorian to me. Oh, okay. He's showing me that he did this kind of mediumship and seances uh, in his lifetime, that he regularly participated in them um, and did some mediumship himself, which is why he's coming in on that vibration with you. Okay. Uh, yeah, a te um, black tailcoat on his on his suit, smart gentleman, and he's showing me somewhere that he worked in Victorian times, uh, the, the wooden table like a planchette, um, some old fashioned heavy Victorian uh, style wood, so perhaps, and some red curtaining, of, oh, a cabinet, a cabinet uh, that people would have sat in uh, for trance. So he's showing me this for a reason. He's showing me this because he is going to support you going down that road. Um, it's what you're meant to do. It's part of your life purpose. And there will be more reasons why he showed me what he's showing me. Perhaps um, when he draws close to you, when he starts to show you more of what I started to show you, uh, more of the picture will evolve. More of the picture will evolve. And before I leave you, he's just given me symbolically now an owl, which to me means um, wisdom. Okay, so this is you um, because he put the owl with you. So you have wisdom as well, old soul. 
he just said thank you to me for introducing him or, or talking about him and he's just given me uh called in my ear the name noel um is that, is that you yes i believe that's his name uh okay so hopefully um that's of interest to you and helpful to you on your journey Chantel. thank you for joining us uh okay hmm. Joseph Pepper, hello, thank you for the blessing every Monday. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you coming in. Um, as I link with your energy, I feel a lot of wise woman energy. Um, the wise woman of the ancients, um, the soul attunement and the empathy with the seasons, with the earth, uh, with nature. I also am being shown a yellow ray of energy coming in. And as I looked closer clairvoyantly at the yellow, I saw it was being brought in by an angel. And um, this angel, Archangel Jophiel, on the yellow ray, is working with you. Um, also is showing me for you citrine. Citrine is a really good crystal for you at this time, right now, um, to be working with. Hmm. Also, I'm being shown a full moon, um, so I feel sure that you will be aware of the moon cycles and also, also the sun, so the cycles of the earth and the planets. Um, oh, just a um, nice energy. Um, I don't know if you like dogs, but I'm getting the impression of uh, the energy of dogs around you. Right, now symbolically for you, they're showing me a tortoise and the tortoise is moving quite slowly. So you, I feel this means, have felt that you're moving quite slowly uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, okay, so the tortoise, <laughs> I'm still seeing, is having a little bit of trouble lifting his legs and moving on from time to time. It's something holding you back uh, and this is in the sense of um, ex past experiences I think uh, or past traumas that could do with uh, being let go of um, or being released from being released from and as I think about that more I'm hearing the word incarcerated um, so if you've ever felt incarcerated I believe uh, that this is past life with you because I'm actually seeing like an iron cage uh, type thing around you and I want to go past life with that so this is just a little um, indicator for you I won't go further into that for you now because I'm only doing uh, taster readings but they obviously wanted you to know about that and um, on a guide level I'm seeing somebody that you may be aware of already very uh, feminine uh, divine goddess looking lady young um, with uh, a classic hood and robe on um, and very very um, connected again with the things I've mentioned you're connected to and she says to me symbolism so this should be something you understand um, the symbolism of nature magic uh, this kind of thing. ah okay she's just shown me um, an acorn and I think this is to do with reading the signs of nature I think this is something uh, that you're attuned to and can do <laughs> That's right. She's just shown me a lovely moss-covered uh, stone outside somewhere. And what she's saying um, is if you meditate, uh, she'll come in uh, in a woodland setting, uh, either in your mind or actually outdoors somewhere. And she would love to make a closer connection um, 
with you more beautiful energy, timeless, absolutely timeless um, sort, sort of being. I'm just, a thought just crossed my mind. I don't think she's anybody who's ever incarnated. Uh, that's right, isn't it? Let me just confirm. Oh no, she's a being of light because I just had a stream of consciousness come into my mind from the position that she's in to me. She's a being of light. So that's wonderful, divine feminine energy. Okay, so... All right, I actually don't want to leave her. I'd like to sit with her all night. It's beautiful. Um, okay, all right, I hope that was um, of help. Interesting. Hi, Rue. Caroline. Hi, Geraldine. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jamie. I'm just feeling into the energies and waiting to see where I needed to go. Jamie, I'm with Jamie and as I connect with her energy, they're showing me a, a stream of cleansing light, like a stream of light they want to bring to you and wash away... Um, your self-doubt, you know, uh, uh, fear, self-doubt. There are a lot of spirit beings around you. I have this impression that you've called on them a lot um, and that you believe in the spirit world and you know that they're there, except it's not always that easy for you to connect to them because uh, consciously, of course, when you're out of your body at night, you're absolutely with them. And on a higher level, you are as well. But the reason I say what I'm saying is I saw a whole ring of spirit beings of light around you that I felt you consciously um, called in or want to work with um, in your spirituality. And you're in the center, but there was like a ring of, dark, of darker energy um, where the connection between you in the center and all of the beings around the perimeter in the circle that you weren't connecting. Um, right, um, so what they're giving me for you is a piece of clear quartz. Actually program it to amplify your energy and also to bring in the confidence to know when you've got a connection because I believe you have been getting connection and you've been thinking that it's your own mind um, which can often happen okay but sometimes that little whisper that you think it's your own thought um, and don't think it's actual guidance because you may be expecting it to come in differently is actually you getting guidance um, take notice of that and follow up um, and don't think, oh no, that, that wasn't right. Because I think sometimes you're uh, concentrating, struggling or focusing too hard rather than relaxing and allowing. The more you can relax and allow, remember it's a stream of consciousness and it's an energy from the mind of spirit coming to your mind. So they're sending out a stream of light with their thoughts towards you. In order for you to receive that, you have to be relaxed because if you're sitting, you know, focusing too hard, you're actually setting up the energy of concentration and focus, which creates a barrier. So this is about relaxing, knowing, that you can do it, you absolutely can. And patience is another word I just heard in my ear. So they're definitely working with you. You have attracted a lot of attention from the spirit world. Um, there's lots of beautiful beings of light around you. Um, okay, they're asking me to tell you that there are angels working with you. 
and obviously your own guides. And I want to talk about your guardian angel, okay? Um, because they're asking me to describe who's with you. And so I said, okay, well, one of you step forward and your guardian angel has stepped forward. And what I'm aware of is a beautiful pale to mid blue because the top uh, robe is a pale blue and below that is a lovely mid blue colour. A male angel, yes, they're androgynous, they have male and female aspects and energies in them but your angel your guardian angel to me is showing himself as male and this blue energy as i talk about him is just washing over me and it's very soothing um very healing so if you want to call him in uh, as i'm talking about him now ask him to show you um the feel of his energy so what he's suggesting is hold that clear course and then call him in. Yeah, okay, I, I'm just having my mind open here because I'm asking uh, if he wishes to give me a name. He may want to give it to you. You may already know it. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not privy to everything, obviously, um, and I'm getting a little, <laughs> a little shake of the head at the moment. Uh, okay, because he wants you to focus on the energies, okay, because the energies, he's just explained this to me quick as a flash. Uh, the energies are what's going to help you build and calm your energy so that then you get more of a deeper connection uh, for the mediumship side of things. So do work, do work with him. And remember the, the pale blue and um, the mid blue, the mid blue like uh, angel light, angel light, I think, yeah. See behind me, that blue there on the top of the selenite, angel light, that's another good one for you because that's the, the mid blue colour of his robes. All right, so I hope that's um, been of some help for you. Um, thank you for joining tonight. Hi, Marianne. Hi, Lou Lim. Good evening. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Rita. Hi, Solvig. Yeah, okay, so that's an unusual name, Solvig. Oh. Alusan, I'm not very good at pronouncing your name. Um, however, as I connect to your energy, I feel you're you're very alert mentally, and I do feel that sometimes uh, you have the impression that the world can be against you. It's a bit of a hard going, a bit of an uphill struggle, um, but you know, try and turn that thought around and probably you're going to say, well, circumstances are that way. Right, so you need then to work on um, choosing to release um, what annoys you, I feel, you know. Uh, so that it doesn't then have the capacity to annoy you any further. And I'm talking about other people here. Um, when other people make you feel stressed, because I feel that is happening, um, what you need to do is to go to allow the feeling rather than just blocking it and getting stressed. Uh, and then okay where does that feeling take me why am i feeling stressed and what you'll find is underneath that button that's been pressed there's something important for you to know about yourself and when you can release that obstacle whatever it is you'll stop having the annoyance this is the universe's way of bringing things to your attention when things persistently annoy you um, and once cleared the issue is cleared 
thank you very much annoying person thank you very much universe it's what you call a cloud with a silver lining so do remember that everything that annoys us has a silver lining if we want to work with it um, that is true that absolutely is true it's happened so often throughout my life that I know that absolutely that's true the minute something affects me now I think okay what's this about to tell me about myself because I welcome it now because I know once I heal that and release that I'm not going to get that again so instead of spending a long time trying to block it or ignore it or push it down and then it will just continue to be drawn magnetically towards me from the universe I now allow it and then release it and this is uh, another way of raising your light levels and clearing out your energy of course uh, it is the ascension pathway and it is the universe helping you to know what's there to release um, Archangel Raphael energy with you the healing energy and I do feel there are uh, tears emotionally that need to be shed that are inside of you um, that never did get expressed um, but you know as we know um, things do remain vibrating on a level of us that they haven't been expressed um, so it's always good to to let go because why would we want to hold those feelings indefinitely bottling things up um, and denying them or suppressing them basically just doesn't work um, not really not in reality anyway I hope that's made uh, uh, some kind of resonance for you and been helpful in some way take what you can from that use what you can whatever feels right to you Okay, thank you for joining. Right, where am I now? Hi Katrina. Right, Katrina, Archangel Shamuel, uh, coming in for you. Archangel Shamuel and readings yes i know i know that you do readings um your energy is very magnetic um there's a lot of um spirituality a, a lot of uh, high vibing energy i do feel that it needs more outlet and i also feel uh, that they're telling me the emotional side of you sometimes uh, bubbles up a bit and that can get in in the way of the mediumship to an extent you're very good but you can be even better if you clear more of your emotional uh, body and free that up you're very sensitive and I feel that people can upset you on an emotional level um, and I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about here Saint Germain uh, just coming in for the violet flame transmutation for you um, I just feel now they're telling me you've had a bit of a rough deal um, this is in your life circumstances um, definitely things are going to get better they, they're saying that you persevere right now they're showing me here into the future with you um, now when this happens I know it's something to look forward to but what I'm seeing is an event and I know that there's a, a stage and I know also also that you uh, are on the stage and you're part of an event and you have been demonstrating mediumship and when you come down off of that stage I am seeing that there's as paperback books um, and I know that one was opened and you were asked to, sh to sign it um, so I, I say that I'm being shown this because there will be the opportunity for you to um, as you go through life to write or have some kind of book published and demonstrate more mediumship um, 
the gift and the potential is there. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that work? If you do, you're absolutely going to be fully supported. There's a lot of angels with you and a lot of spirit and family because uh, I'm, I'm seeing uh, a nan figure che cheering. Um, you're really strongly supported and you're very strong spiritually. You're very powerful. Um, yeah, you go back a long way and you've been a light worker on many occasions, including Atlantis, which I'm sure you know about. So that's a uh, good fortune. And, you know, yes, life is uh, can be, you know, lessons and it can seem like hard work, but there really are rewards uh, coming for you. So good luck to you. Um, and yeah, abundance and prosperity. Good. Okay, well, I was just going to leave you then. And um, strangest thing I'm seeing, but I'm seeing it, so I'll say it. Has it ever occurred to you, or have you seen um, this same figure? Because you may well have done. Um, what I'm seeing is a guy who uh, would have been a rodeo um, rider. And this is like on a spirit guide level, because uh, I saw the Stetson first. Um, tune in later yourself or now and see if you can pick him up too. Um, and then he showed me himself riding a bull, not a horse, and holding on, staying on. Um, so it, that then represented the ride, the journey for you. Um, and he gets off, now I'm seeing him, and he's smiling and saying, ma'am, you know, with an American accent, and he's very uh, sparkly, an attractive guy, um, probably 1800 and something, but he is there in your guide team. So, I mean, this is a confident guy that could go out there in front of, of the public, uh, which is why he's coming in at this juncture, because he will help you uh, have the confidence to go out and talk your talk and demonstrate your mediumship. So anyway, <laughs> just know that he's there and I see him with a, a small moustache. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that brings me to the end of Angel Hour. But remember, if you share this video, then I will be picking somebody for a full free reading with me. Uh, Skype, FaceTime, telephone or in person and I will announce who the winner is tomorrow on my page. Thank you for joining me and um, good night and uh, I'll be back next Monday. Bye!